Salutations, everybody. Today's horrible game, Rogue Warrior. And from now on, since you guys think I don't play horrible games, humanity's worst games, I really don't play them, here are the review scores for Rogue Warrior. I'm going to do this for every week's game from now on, so you know I'm playing some of the worst fucking games you could ever imagine. So... Uh, published by Bethesda, Bethesda doing another great, well-published game here, Rogue Warrior, so, uh, I've never played this before, haven't looked up much on it, heard it's really bad, and, <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. If you're a pussy, select this one. Bring it on, motherfuckers. You think you're fucking special, huh? It's a really mature game. Really mature. A spec warrior. One who gives a fuck. That's me. Whether I'm prowling and growling or going full fucking fault there with lots of sound. Why the here. fuck is he cursing so much? They're dirt bags of hard motherfuckers. When I'm staring death in the face. Why? This whole squad just died. Commander, this is Peyton. What's your status? It's a total goat fuck. Goddamn KPA, we're waiting for us. What did he just say? Hold on, I already gotta pause this shit and react. It's a total goat fuck. <laughs> That's a fucking new one, man. I curse all the time. That's a new one. Holy shit. It's a goat fuck in here. This game is a goat fuck. Oh, that's great. Press E to perform a kill move when close to an enemy. I guess there's no crouching. Is there crouching in any form? Usually the crouching buttons are... Control? What the fuck was that? Okay, that's to get in cover, I guess. And then C. Alright, so there's a crouch. But I just ran up to him. He's got an AK-47. Can I just, like, sprint up to a guy and just... Stab him without him knowing? That's embarrassingly easy. Shoot fuse box to cut out lights. You on this, fuckhead. Necessary cursing. This guy not hear any gunshots. So they just... The lights are out. Just just look around. Don't walk or anything. Just aim at a wall. That'll help. Don't try to fix the situation. Just stand there. Alright. E again. Yep. There we go. Oh my god. Rock and roll, motherfuckers. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, motherfuckers, rock and roll. How'd they even know I was here? What? Tap control. Can I actually, like, aim in? What kind of... What kind of... What kind of... What kind of, what kind of, what kind of game doesn't let you aim down the site in first person or third person? Bring the noise, bitch. Bring the noise, bitch. Oh, dude. Oh, I gotta curse. I'm so badass. Uh, uh. So, let me get this straight. My squad died. The people are telling me to pull out. And I'm here and now shooting up the North Koreans. And I'm basically going to start an international crisis. That's basically what the plot of this game is right now. That is so paper thin and just fucked up. It's not even funny. Oh, it's a shooting gallery now. Oh my god, I actually died. <laughs> I don't get it. If it's a first-person game, why do you have a third-person cover mechanic? Why don't you just do like what Fear 3 did, a first-person cover mechanic? That's good. I'll just keep walking through the hallways. Gonna, you know, mm hmm Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, yep, yep. You're not even fucking looking at me. Oh, you got a friend over here, I'm guessing. Yep, 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 uh, uh-huh, mm. That was a surprise. That was a good surprise. I didn't see that one coming. This is literally like... It's a first-person shooter, obviously. But the way, like, the doors are kicking open and surprising me and stuff is something on par of an on-rail shooter I play at a fucking movie theater. Oh, surprise enemy over here through this door. Oh, whoa, you didn't see that one coming. You better be fucking Fuck this goddamn shit. It's just so unnecessary. So deep and character driven, wow. 
That was such a fast fucking mission. Oh my god, this game is probably like five hours long. Not even. I'm, that, that's pushing it. If that was one mission. The great leader must have a tiny dick. Fuck. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Damn. This is like... This is more than easy. Like, it doesn't matter what difficulty I'm playing on. I, I can just get through this whole game, basically, by pressing E until the game says, No, now you have to shoot people. Oh, boy. Uh, I almost ate my own words. I did eat my own words right there. This game is too easy, guys. Holy crap, they actually reacted to the grenade. I'm kind of shocked. Yep, there we go. Yep, can't hit me with a single fucking bullet. I'm too busy staring down at your dead friend. Yep, you reload that gun. I'm, I'm busy being invincible. Oh no, can they not even hit me? Wow, AI is good. God, oh, fucking mighty. That was another mission. Hmm. Mission three. This seems a little familiar. You know, the whole going through the beginning of the level stealth and pressing E behind clueless, unsuspecting enemies until the game says, no, you must be detected now. And then there will be a shooting gallery. Mark my words, people. I'm a master at this game and I would know. Oh wow, I actually got detected. Not because the game told me to, but because of my lack of skill for the first time in two missions. Holy shit. Can't believe my fucking eyes. I haven't seen a fucking fuse box I could shoot out since the first mission either. That's kind of kind of bogus. You know, like, it really would really help, just really help, if I could aim in. Like, I don't get why, out of all things, you have two different cover... Like, you have a first-person shooter, you have a third-person shooter. You have everything in shooter format. You don't have a aim-down sights. Oh, you just have a gun out of nowhere, dude. <laughs> How the fuck? I'm not ask. Alright, so he turned on the alarm here. Why can't I turn it off? And hide, maybe. I don't think that's a hard thing to program into a video game that's two hours long. Look how bland the textures are in this game. Just take a moment to realize I'm running this on ultra, highest settings possible, and look how fucking bland the walls are, the electronic boxes that look like they're from the fucking 80s in the floor. Suck my balls, my hairy fucking big balls, wrap them around your fucking mouth. Never in my fucking life, in all 19 years I have gamed, have I heard a game that said suck my balls, my big fat fucking hairy balls, wrap them around your mouth and suck them. I have never fucking heard that in my life. Oh my. <laughs> what the fuck's he doing? He could have just shot me right there. Oh my god, that's just embarrassing. I just turn around, he's got his gun pointing at me, he's like, I'm not gonna shoot you, bro, I'm not gonna shoot you. Oh, okay, that's so realistic. Alright, alright, nice, 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 dude. Put me into a firefight without any cover. Oh, sick, yeah, they're coming from all angles now. Nice, nice. Really good level design. Yes, yes, I fucking love it. Quick, put a bunch of enemies a mile away from him where he can't aim down his sights. That'll really challenge the gamer. Fucking wind is so cold, it'd freeze the balls off a fucking polar bear. Mm -hmm. I hit the border with Russia and it doesn't look like the end of the line. Are the Soviets taking possession of the missiles? Only one way to find out. Okay. I think... Three missions is enough to dignify this as a fucking insult to video games. Okay, well, first off, it's a goat fuck, as this douchebag in this video game would say. Um, 
I don't know where the fuck to start, the laughably horrible dialogue, trying to... They, they claim this is a character-driven video game. I swear to God, on the promotions I've seen, this is a character-driven game. What? This character is nothing but a, a cursing asshole. He tells you to suck his hairy balls. Like, what fucking video game does that? Uh, it's, you know, let me tell you the level design, once again, in case you forgot. Level starts, you press E, you get detected because of the game, once because of your own skill so far in three levels. And then you shoot through a bunch of enemies, and you yell at your superiors in the CIA because you fucking can, and you cause an international crisis. That's it. That's the gameplay. That's the plot. That's everything. Uh, you know, you curse your brains out and stuff. Um, it's fucking atrocious. And, you know, it's just sad that Bethesda published this, that Bethesda was behind it. You know, I picture him sitting in the office... Hey, that's great. Good game, man. Wow. Holy shit, man. You combine first person and third person elements into this aggressive two hour long character driven story with multiplayer. I'm not fucking touching that shit. All right. I'm, not, I'm done. I'm done. This game is fucking horrible. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this is horrible enough for you guys because I had to spend 10 fucking dollars on this. $10. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.